All right, chat. We're halfway there. Next up is the Sony State of Play Bingo. Now this one, <sighs> this one feels a little risky, if you ask me, because this is already announced to be a much smaller event. So we just did the Nintendo Bingo. If you're watching this on YouTube, that exists separately. If you're watching this now on Twitch, thanks for sticking with me. This one is only gonna be 20 minutes long. It's already announced to have an emphasis on Japanese developers so that it can be tied into Tokyo Game Show, arguably, which starts in just a couple days. And I don't know how much is gonna show up there for first party stuff. It does say worldwide partners will be in there. And I think that they are too close to release on God of War. I think that they are too close to, uh, it's been too long since they announced Spider-Man 2 to not say anything about it. I think there's gonna be some surprises in there, but I think we gotta really spend our time wisely making these predictions. I'm from the future watching this on YouTube. What a legend. I'm okay playing some Dreamlight Valley. Hell yeah, I've been addicted to Dreamlight Valley. There's been a lot of stuff going on in that game. So let's jump into predictions for the Sony event. Now there are some things that I think are worth talking about when it comes to rumors. So the biggest rumor that's been poking around on the internet is Silent Hill. Konami has teased, there have been leaks and concept art. I am not a big fan, but I think it is likely to happen. So I'm gonna throw Silent Hill on there as our number one prediction. I think it's high time that they announce this thing. Especially when we've got Halloween coming up. I think it's spooky hours. Chat, what do you guys have for predictions for the Sony event? I'd be interested in playing a new Silent Hill. I think a lot of people are in that same camp ever since PT. They've been asking. There was rumors of Guillermo del Toro working on one with Kojima eight eons ago. I don't think that's in the cards anymore, but who knows? Now, in our final slot, we have to give Rich his honorary Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll call it LOD. Legend of Dragoon. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Always holding out hope for <laughs> a remake of that game. Uh, like the last one, we gave three slots to some pretty pretty good ideas of what could be coming. Let's jump in and do the same thing like we did for Zelda on Nintendo. Let's do the Final Fantasy block. So there's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There is Final Fantasy XVI. And there is Crisis Core Reunion. It's going to be really tough remembering re Remake, Reunion, Rebirth, and whatever the third Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy game is called years from now. It's already hard now, but we will get it in due time. Chat says, hardware update. On the topic of hardware, DualSense Edge. They announced that really quickly at opening night live like a month ago, a little less than a month ago, and have not talked about it at all. It was mostly a tease, but that is confirmed as coming, and I'm sure they're going to show it off, maybe even announce a release date and hopefully a price point for it. I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, God of War, listen, Kratos is here. That game is allegedly coming in the next couple months. It's time. My guess is that Sony will do the thing that they did last year. They're gonna show a little bit of God of War here in this 20 minute thing. And then like they did with Horizon, they're gonna say tune in next week or on September 21st for an in-depth look during a state of play for our God of War state of play. It's high time. They're going to do it. Spider-Man 2 while we're talking first party. I feel like I'll, I'll add Spider-Man 2 and then that's it for first party. I don't think they have anything else to show. Uh, maybe one more thing. This little guy up here. Team Asobi. Chad, do you know who Team Asobi is? I do. And I think it's time. Now, they did announce that there was going to be PSVR stuff. Team Asobi is the team that they actually 
Switch. Sony Japan Studio absor was absorbed into Team Asobi, whoever's left of them. Uh, but they did Astrobot Rescue Mission, which was a huge VR push for the original PSVR. And more recently, they did Astro's Playroom. I might have those reversed in title, but the one that came pre-installed on your PlayStation 5. Um, they announced recently that they're working on their most ambitious project yet, and I would not be surprised if we saw them coming as a first-party Japanese studio. I think there's a chance. Chance says Resident Evil 4 HD Remake. I think there's room not even for just Resident Evil 4, but potentially the Resident Evil 8 DLC that's been announced. Perhaps we get a date for that stuff. I think that's a really good call. Um, chat VR, PSVR, Horizon, Horizon maybe twice, I don't know. Horizon, what the fuck is it called? Call of the Mountain, Mountaintop Survival, Call of the Duty, fuck. <laughs> Uh, the Horizon VR game, I think, will pop up, no question. They're itching to show more of that. Um, let's talk about Japanese studios. Square Enix, we kind of knocked off except for the game that will never release, but always be shown or spoken. But then we got some other big boys, too. Ah, uh, let's stick with Square Enix. Dragon Quest Twelve potentially we also have Valkyrie profile Valkyrie Elysium Valkyrie Elysium comes out in like a month and a half and Valkyrie profile Lenith is also coming out the same day which is a remake of the PSP remake of the original game which is included in the deluxe edition of Elysium but also a standalone title that you can get so I think that will likely be shown as well there's other options too, Tactics Ogre is coming out, but I feel like that's really small. If we talk about Capcom, there's a shoe in here. We are going to see Street Fighter 6. No question. Street Fighter has like the Smash Brothers era of sweet, sweet information trickle going on right now. It's actually very smart what they do. They just kind of show you a new character at every event and get people talking about Street Fighter again for a few minutes. I think I'll go a step further. Not only do I think we're going to see Street Fighter 6, I think we're going to see Ken tomorrow. That's my guess. Um, but that's not all Capcom does. For a long time, they haven't had Pragmata announced, which if you guys remember is like from the original PS5 event. They showed that crazy sci-fi game with these motherfuckers falling from the moon and doing wild things. I think that will likely show up as well. And then last but not least, the game that is not Dino Crisis, Exo Primal. Exo Primal. All right, that's only 15. And we got a big old bingo card to fill out, chat. What else do you have for PlayStation predictions? There's that game that was announced not long ago that looked a little bit like a Dynasty Warriors. It's Wo Long, Wo Long, uh, WL, <laughs> Fallen Dynasty. WLFD, for all of those keeping track at home, which I think could definitely show up. We got the DualSense Edge on there, which I think is smart. What about the often rumored, they've already shown off in some magazines. Yakuza 7? You better not skip Sly Cooper, your co-host will kill you. I can't do it. If I would do it out of respect if the developers, Sucker Punch, came out and they said, hey, we know you're interested, but we're not making Sly Cooper or Infamous right now. This was maybe three months ago. I can't put Sly Cooper or Infamous on there as much as I want to. I would sooner put Killzone or Resistance Fall of Man 4 on there. <laughs> so I can't take that L. But I think Yakuza could be a nice surprise that I think people would go bonkers for because people love Yakuza like a dragon. Tag team it with Legend of Dragoon for the long shot wish list slot. I don't know. I don't know. Legend of Dragoon at this point has a better chance than Sly Cooper. Words that I 
Never thought I would ever say out loud, but here we are. Let me think. There's got to be some other stuff that we're forgetting. I think that perhaps Tactics Ogre is the right thing to put on here, chat. Because I have a feeling it's going to be shown, especially with that emphasis on Japanese developers. It's a pretty high-profile remake that I know a lot of JRPG fans are super excited for. Now, PSVR 2 is going to be there. I feel like we should throw PSVR 2 on as a category, but have it be for concrete details. I think that tomorrow will be the announcement of the release date and potentially the price of PSVR 2. Feel free to insult me. If that's not correct, but I feel pretty passionate about it. I think it's in the cards. All right. Next, let's talk a little bit about digital presence. So Sony for a long time has been pumping us full of new content for PlayStation Plus. So I think that PlayStation Plus will get some sort of big push here because I don't think it's the big hit that they want. I think right now PS Plus the revamp with all the naming conventions and stuff that they did. Go on. You at home, you remember what they're called, right? Three tiers of PlayStation Plus. It's PlayStation Plus. It's PlayStation Plus 3. I don't know. It's like premium and extra and core and basic and extreme. Those are the five tiers of PlayStation Plus at home. So I think that they're going to do something to sweeten the deal there. And then I'll go a step further that on top of that, I bet we get our next batch of trophy supported backwards compatible games. So I think that we'll get the PS1 backwards compatibles thing. They have like a little batch that came through already, like Ape Escape and Siphon Filter. They already announced Siphon Filter 2 is coming. So I think that's a pretty good shot. Outside of that, I don't know what else they could do for digital presence. I don't know if you guys have anything, but for me, I think that's about where we're at. Tough call. Tough call. Tough call. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for the long shots. There's one that I have in mind that's been rumored for a long time, and I think we should put it on there. Metal Gear Solid, baby. It's too long. Too long since the last one, and I think if anyone can pull it off at their show, it's Sony. And I think Konami would be happy to have that name floating around the internet again. There's been rumors about a Twin Snakes remake. There's been rumors about bringing a collection that includes two and three. Even a collection that would include like the original Metal Gear games, the non-solid ones. Ooh, good prediction from chat. Sony's been going to PC in a big way lately. I think that is our last prediction. PC port. We already know Uncharted's on its way. What else can they bring? What do you think, chat? What do you think? Is there anything else that we'll need to fill out this beautiful list? Let's go over what we have so far. Silent Hill. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Final Fantasy XVI, Crisis Core Rebirth, Crisis Core Reunion, The DualSense Edge, Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 8, Horizon, I think it might be Call of the Wild. No, it's something, it has the word mountain in it. <laughs> we'll never know. If only the internet existed so I could Google it. I refuse to do so. Forspoken, Dragon Quest, Valkyrie Elysium or Profile Lenith. Street Fighter 6, Pragmata, Exo Primal, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, Yakuza, Tactics Ogre, PSVR 2, PS Plus, PS1 Backwards Compatibility, PC Port of an existing Sony property, Metal Gear Solid, Legend of Dragoon. Speak now or forever hold your peace, chat. I think we got it. It feels so wrong to have Rainbow Road playing in the background while I'm wearing a fucking Kirby shirt doing PlayStation predictions, but 
That's what you get for dumping your fucking <laughs> event on top of a Nintendo Direct. Super scummy on Sony's part. They went three or four hours after Nintendo announced their Direct and then announced their state of play and then commented on Nintendo's wildly successful announcement post. Big day tomorrow. Come on, man. Have your own party. Have your own party. But at the long, in the long run, it's a lot of content. Tomorrow's gonna be a really fun day. To recap chat, we got a lot coming up. We got our predictions locked in. Head to the Discord to see the final bingo card. We'll have the bingo card ready to go tomorrow and we'll be uh, marking off squares as we hit them. We're gonna get a nice bingo. It'll look something like this. And it'll feel so fucking good to have done it together. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I just can't wait. So I'll post those in, uh, you know, probably within a half hour, 40 minutes. I'll get those all RNG'd and laid out with some little icons to signify each one of them. Then, tomorrow, 8.30, 8.45 a.m. Eastern, we will stream the Nintendo event. And then at 5.30, 5.45 Eastern, we will stream the Sony event. Jeez, a lot coming up. And then I got a game list to record either later that night or in the next couple days. Originally, we were going to stream that, not stream that, record that and post it tomorrow night but now not only does our game list have a recap of opening night live the disney and marvel showcase and the ubisoft forward event but it now has a nintendo direct and a playstation state of play to go over in addition to the slew of game of the year contenders that we've each been playing in addition to all the news outside of those events and everything coming out in the next month there's a lot fucking happening. A lot happening. Good lord. Carla, thank you tonight for the bits. Carito got the first. Chat, thank you guys all for participating. I really, really do appreciate it. Super fun stream. Always a fun stream. Always a pleasure. I'll post these up on YouTube. You can feel free, feel free to hop in the Discord and tell us what we did well, what we did wrong. Either way, I will see you all tomorrow. Can't wait.